Alrighty, sir. Can you understand what ghost type Pokemon are weak to? I don't think so. But I'll. Oh, yeah. And I know that you heal after gyms in this. Like, you get free heal on gym completion. So. I'll have to change up my team after that. Which often after the gyms, you are either fighting uh, Bede or Hop or some other kind of impressive fight. Oh, you're faster. Mean look means I can't get away. Oh no. Good boy, Hunter. Hunter? Haunter. Goodbye, Haunter. Yeah, it'd be nice to see more... more... I guess not unattractive, that's a weird way of putting it, but more non-generic Pokémon, like more spiders, more odd creatures, something dumb like Driftblim. Because it feels like in this game, they did a bunch of dog, cat, fox-type Pokémon, which is what people put a lot of inter interest in seeing, don't get me wrong, but also, eh. Like, I like seeing the odd Pokémon, that's why I like... That's why I like... Pokémon that are a little bit ineffective. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I guess we will just... Nasty Plot again. Yeah, there's a lot of real and common. I like the Teapot Ghost. I like, um, like the goblin thing, uh, is a fun Pokemon to kind of have around. Just those odds and end things. Like, that's why I don't shit upon the idea. Ineffective, you say? Bug type trainer, you say? Yeah. Like, there are, bu there are very effective bug typings, but they usually combo with something. Oh, hello, Sizzlepeed. Like him. Fire and Insect. Sizzlepeed's um, evolution can be pretty bulky. And tough. But he's used in... Actually, there's a few of them, aren't there? There's a few Pokemon in this game that... Their bug type plus another type. Yeah, they they do tend to not do well. Ge and it's because their typing is generally stated as weak. But yeah. Sizzlepeed. They're sent to Scorch now. I can't look at my box at the moment. Like, Steel-type gets a lot of love, just because certain Pokémon of the Steel-type get a lot of love. But I like I like Scizor for being a Steel-type bug. Or a Steel-bug-type. Because I like bug. I do have an affinity for bug-type Pokémon. Like, that's a thing that I should think about. What is my favorite of every type of Pokemon? It should buy potions. Alright, let's get in here. I was going to say, I should have probably done the other way. I could do a video of my favorite bug types. That would be a nice project to work on. Or not favorite bug types, but favorite of each type. 
I'm Alistair. Here we go. I like the field here as well. gonna immediately Dynamax, but they've got too many Pokemon for that right now. And the Mask avoided the attack. Oh, disabled. That's not good. I might not be in a good place for this. Beef. Wandering Spirit. Uh, you True. That, and it turns into the flying thing. I mean, I guess you could go without evolving something for a team build. We're just trading off ability. I just need this to become on... What's it called? Undisabled. Truthfully, there haven't been very many Fox Pokemon, so I appreciate the evil for that. But also, you know, there's a bunch of dog Pokemon, there's a bunch of cat Pokemon, and feet and foxes fit both of those to an extent. Burden. Hmm. Let's out Mimikyu. You're a nasty little bugger. That will also thief you initially. Oh. Ow. That hurt. Yep. Kind of figured that one. Please don't finish him um, with that. Okay. Right. Slash has an improved critical chance. Sent a Scorch. Do I want to do that? Hmm. Anything else? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll put in Sent a Scorch. Are you a physical attacker? Yes. So Bite is going to do some good damage. Actually, doesn't Bug Bite super effect Ghost? No, that's something. Evil will probably be put back in to rotation here in a second, depending. Come on. Make you this Mimikyu is actually pretty tough, too. Yeah, it'd be nice to see more spider-like Pokémon. Like, a spider-ghost Pokémon would be fun. I also am not very fast in this instance, so... Don't know how Barrascute is going to handle this. If I can get a bite and a flinch off, yeah, Baby Doll Eyes gets priority, so that's not a good indicator of speed. How about this? I should have gone with Aqua Jet here. Baby Doll Eyes again. Attack fell. There we go. Recovision Carcoal, leveled up. Recovision would like to learn Bite. I mean... Sure? Sure. Yeah, we'll get rid of Water Gun for that. Learn Bite instead. Carcoal over to level 30. 
You don't have fantastic stacks until you evolve, do you? Keep Barrascuta out here. Ursula. Yeah, I know you were gonna be weak to this. And I've got speed at the moment, so that's not bad. That is also not terrible to look at. Because I can definitely use your lower defense for my betterment. Purse. Yeah. Okay. I think I can do this with Aqua Jet. That's probably still more damaging. I was thinking Aqua Jet because I was gonna try and go for, for, for priority, but the speed measured out, it looks like. Eldegoss and Barrasquita both level up. Alright. Alright, Gengar. Let's see how you pull with Thievil. I'm gonna let Gengar eat up his. I'm gonna let his Gengar eat up a couple of turns of Dynamaxed or Gigantamaxed form in this actually. Oh, yeah. So I had another, or I saw another thing online, just Reddit conversational pieces with in relation to Pokemon, but people dictating what Pokemon they think have had the worst treatment by uh, Nintendo or Game Freak as a as a subsidiary of Nintendo, I believe. But in all honesty, I think one of the worst Pokemon that has been treated the worst, not necessarily by the company, but because of what the company has done with them, has got to be, um, what do you call it? It's got to be Charizard. Because Charizard starts getting a lot of hate more and more when more of the newer Pokemon or more of the favored games, or more games see him in a favored aspect. It's a lot of that we're tired of Gen 1 mentality. Which is not a bad thing, but it's also not a good thing. Because we don't necessarily want to see Charizard get another new form, another additional ability, another special thing. I like that noise. But also Charizard got treated badly because he's been put in such a limelight that people have started to actually dislike him. Really? He did that much damage to me? Yeah, it's when a song it's like when a song gets played too much. Like, I don't even think Pikachu has that much because Pikachu is also Pikachu's feels a little less utilized. G Max Terror. Ghost typing? I don't know how that's going to Ooh boy. Alright, thank you for think tanking it out, evil. Yeah, it's like these instances when your friends are trying to enforce a mentality on you. Yeah, Pikachu and Eevee themselves are kind of dead horses because they keep getting utilized. But Pikachu also has these things vying for its affection, for the affection dedicated to it. <laughs> so you've got your Pikachu clones. And with Eevee, it's always this issue of... You don't necessarily want Eevee. You want Eeveelutions. You want the betterment of Eevee. Or at least Eevee's betters. Crumbs. That was Ace. Here, a ghost badge. And there's other Pokemon that have just kind of been ignored, and sometimes being ignored isn't a bad thing. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 40. 
Good luck with them, everything. Because there are some Pokemon that get ignored because they function. There are other Pokemon that get ignored because they're forgotten. Like, uh... A lot of the Pokemon with baby form Pokemon got ignored for a long time, and now we're seeing a little bit more of the betterment on that end. But we're gonna do another real quick team swap since we're here. Put up the window capture. And we pick swaps. Two, four. So two, four, or two for 13, which is you, which you can come up to, well, and then one, two, three, four. So that's going to come up to 29. And then six is removed. And what is the lowest level here? 18. It looks like it. So we'll just change that out. Ta da! And yeah, we'll bring these two up to, or these three up to 29 real quick. And that'll be that. And again, I will probably spend some time this week power leveling. Use this item. So I need put double. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I don't think that'll get me up to 29 yet. All right, Dragon Breath. Um, hmm. Paralysis, pro paralysis is probably better than just a flinch. So that's definitely worth it. And learn Dragon Breath instead. Ooh, Dragon Dance. Uh, uh your physical attack is. Better. Hmm. We'll take Astonish away for Dragon Dance for a speed and attack buff. Uh, we're going to put six more on you and see if that brings you up to 29. It's close enough. Dragon Pulse, really, y'all? Why, why are you getting special attacks over anything? I would rather have flat damage, to be honest. But you probably need, like, Dragon Tail, Dra Draco Meteor, stuff like that. All right, so you up to... I need eight. Those are trying to get you up four levels. There we go. Then you go up six. So yeah, double is about what we need to do for that correctly. Yeah, so everyone a level under... Yeah, it's fine. Then we're going to get into the mediums, and I'll have to test that some more. It'll work. Kill <sighs> Looks like my Yipper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we'll we've run into each other at a good time. You know, the mural here in Stillon's side, it's said to tell the story of the hero of Galar. As well. Though what's here today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insight. I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Oops, something broke. What? What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Let's have a look. Come along, Yamper. Again, I like the idea of... Like, it'd be fun if Raichu got a an additional evolutionary stage. So we have some Pokemon with four evolutions and make me make Raichu a bit stronger in that effect. Max Revive, thank you. Like, give the Pikachu line something to get stronger. It'd also be interesting if we could get the Eevee lines... The Eevee lines an additional evolution upstage. Rather than additional Eevee illusions, give us all of them at a higher capacity. Those could be fun. We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. 
Why is my nose itchy? Raj. If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him. To help him find wishing stars. Wish these lines wouldn't cut off like they do, but I gotta pay attention to periods, not the lines. Oh my, you again. So you think you can start collecting wishing stars now and get the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? I see, so you have some so you do have some cunning, cunning in you, but I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. All right. Come on, Bede. Duosion. Yeah, he started getting this. Guess what? I have a very, very good build against you at the moment. With just Thievel. Super effective. Special attack fell. See, I've already seen more than enough to judge mine and my team's abilities. No. That's just dumb. Especially when you go for a physical defense there. Okay. Alright. You should also probably give Evil like a berry. Just because of his ability. And then I can thief. So he speeds up, I give him a berry that does something else, and then I can steal something from someone. Sorry. I get distracted when I just randomly see things from Twitter. Grizzly, Carcoal. Pokemon Trainer Bitty is about to send out Petrin. I always mess this up. We'll just stick with Thievel. If we get beaten up here, it's not a problem. But I don't think you are psychic type yet. But we will snarl anyways. Or maybe you are psychic type? Yeah, because you gained fairy type after. Special attack fell. Dazzling gleam. Good luck with that. Super effective, right? Oh, Dark is also super affected by Fairy. That is fine. Hatrim super affected. Hatrim fainted. But yeah, the game, the candies in this game is probably the fastest way to power level any Pokemon that has been put out there. Ponyta, you're also Fairy. We are Fairy now. Trying to decide what I want to do, because I don't want you to go out there really. Let us use Flapple and Dragon Dance our way into crushing this person. Because I feel like it. Agility. You're already faster, but that's fine. I think. I don't believe Flapple has an item on him. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I'm starting to think in a much more competitive mentality. Even though I'm not a heavily competitive player. Oh, you're trying to keep yourself faster than me. All right. I have more recently watched a bunch of competitive play. Like, I'm thinking if I give a berry to Flapple, who would then use it, I could then have time to do this to get Dragon Dance really high up. But Dragon Dance plus some... Um, what is it? Especially when this is happening, we're just fighting for speed at the moment. 
Yeah, Leech Seed, Dragon Dance with a berry. Something that would be used up. And then you hit with... Let's see. How many do I have on me? You have three attack boosts. And then Ripen would make whatever effect is better. Yeah, that just seems really good because I do this once. And, well, we will have beaten a dead horse. Actually, this Flapple should be able to sweep the rest of this fight. Especially with that. Yeah, just a healing item for Flapple. Or a healing berry for Flapple. That's surprising. You actually survived that. I guess there is a level difference. Yeah, that's not a huge level difference. Yeah. And yeah, I just need some kind of physical dragon type move to make best work of this. I guess grass. Grass would also work. Yeah, more levels. Drizzile would like to use Learn U-Turn. That would probably be better than Sucker Punch. I mean, you're learning some pretty powerful physical attacks, but also just the ability to back out of a fight. Because Drizzle Drizzile is going to be fast. Night Slash. What is up with this? You're also learning some pretty nice physical attacks. You've also got Snarl, which is not to be laughed at. Nah. Actually, yeah, Thief is probably only good in certain instances. Because you don't really want to take away Thievel using an item. Yeah, consumable items definitely should be focusing on a little bit berries specifically. But why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was chosen by... I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite. Someone who can shoulder the future of the Galar region. Challenge a bit, eh? I wonder what you were up to. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Copperage. I can't believe you'd try to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of Pokemon of a Pokemon simple being? Vaxage? Oh, the Faulty Tech challenge is uh, whenever I use a PC tent or get a an enforced free heal. I utilized this um, code box that was crafted by one of my chat members to randomize my team. So I'm trying to catch everything within this generation on top of having a difficult time with it. So my team is randomized every time. So I might end up with a bad lineup. I might end up with, which in this version doesn't hurt to have underleveled Pokemon. But yeah, we're just... It's a randomized team whenever you use your PC, or whenever you get a full team heal. The in, the idea behind it is that you are supposed to utilize... Well, the idea behind it is that the faulty tech in the original games would be broken PCs. That would ev turn your... Not turn your Pokemon different, but they would replace your team with something out of your PC boxes. It's a fun little it's a fun little twist on Gotta Catch 'em All, just because as I played through the original games, I did a Gotta Catch 'em All challenge where I would stop using something the moment it it fully evolved, which made it which made a lot of Pokemon just not see much light of day. So I'm happy with what's going on here, but trying to destroy the mural, part of Galar's history, you show no love toward Galar. You're clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later, for now you will return to Hammerlock. 
So he has been booted. But Vaxage, thank you for the uh, thank you for the question and giving me a chance. You you must be joking, right? You're just calling me from the gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you why are you choosing the worst possible the worst possible option? Challenge your bid, I will be taking those wishing stars you've gathered. I'm surprised it sounded like they were just stealing his jacket. Ah, oh, Sonya and Redress too. Terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Yet we do what we yet we do what we must to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You know, during one of Beta's matches, I heard the announcer say that Beta has no family. Apparently it was Rose who took Beta under his wing, and so Beta was battling for the chairman's sake. I feel bad for him a little. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all of that. And it rumbles here, doesn't it? Yep, this is gonna fall open. <laughs> Yeah, I'm either going to do this, or I might, when the remakes come out, I might go through and do a, um, what is it called? Nuzlocke. Like a proper one. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar Galar's legends? Pokemon. <laughs> right, more than any hero, there's those two those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? Hero was actually two people, a oh, good observation. There really were two heroes, but if it's if that's the case, then we then why only the one statue at the Budu drop in? I need to kind of slow down my reading. More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means Yeah, the sword and a shield is the Pokemon. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokémon and treated as the same thing. But then, what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes, the sword and shield, were actually Pokémon. Why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of these so you can so you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess you're headed for Balulea. Balulea next, right? And two revives. The revives in the medicine bag in there. Let's go. Three revives is not bad. I assume we got a full heal out of that, too. We did not, so I don't have to change my team yet. But what we are going to do is, because we beat this gym, I think that opens up Ultra Balls for us. It does not. Okay. We will just prog progress. Ching ching. Mm, oh, boy. And I have to catch stuff in here. Alright, still on side. Was there anything specific I could get from there? Mostly just rare things. I need five badges. Alright, so Glimwood, what have you got for me? Ponyta, um, Sinistee, I want to try and get the antique form of Sinistee, Mushroom, 
Hello, Impidumps. We'll progress a little into here before we start hunting things. Probably. 1% chance on that Sinistee. Hmm. Also, it looks like there are certain things that just aren't showing. There's an item hidden behind him. Are you looking for mushrooms? They give off they give off light when you touch them. Maybe. Hook Derek. Hello, Derek. I think I have an idea of the Pokemon I need to get from another source. Uh, oh. Hmm. Okay, I was, wasn't was sure, but now I am. Fairy type is not weak to anything in my team except for poison. I don't have a fantastic poison type yet. Fence rose sharply. Oh, you're going to have a hard time with your special defense here. Oh, that's actually pretty good damage. Acid armor. Defense, low sh defense throws sharply again. You're doing a good job, Tuxo. I haven't had to do any TM, any heavy TM training so far, but we are halfway through? That's kind of ridiculous. We're only 20-ish episodes in, and we're halfway through. I guess that's fair. Hey, you have a Sinistee. That's dark, right? They're not dark, that's ghosts. There we go. hard to, because you have to see the symbol on the bottom of, yeah, we'll just catch it in this tea and I'll worry about the special one later, because the symbol for the teapot is on the bottom of the cup. She nodded. Fire type. You're sending out a plant? I've got a fire to burn you out with flame charge. Oh, Giga Drain, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's not a lot, but could you use a bat? That's really for that. Don't think. I'm going to look at my car call real quick. Because you're a physical attacker, right? Really, your special attack is not worse. Let's just go with it. Incinerate. And burn up whatever berry item you might have. Probably should just try. yeah. Let's get off of Parkhole because he is not playing in a fun way. Let's see what is it. Put some acid to it. How about that? Ow. Oh, you're probably... I was gonna say you're probably faster, but never mind. Is that... It's really not enough. Eh, astonish, at least no more Giga Drain. Rattle? Oh. Hey, speed. That I'm fine with. We got this. Regardless of this taking a while... 
This should also mean that I get... I was going to say Tox Effects, but no, it's Toxtricity after this fight, because this is a lot of experience going to my Toxel. Yeah, so level 30 and 31. All right, Derek, how do you go? Toxel is evolving. Toxel evolved into toxicity. Toxtricity. Yep. Wants to learn Spark. I'll give you that. Run it over and nuzzle, though. Your physical attack spiked there, didn't it? Uh, let's Spark in, but keep Nuzzle, because Nuzzle is useful for acting at the moment, because an, an instituted paralysis is going to be helpful in the catch percentages. But yeah, there we go. Electricity leveled up. We're getting somewhere with this. Or er, leveled up and evolved. Also, I think there was an item behind him, right? Is that not true? Oh, it was that yellow thing that I mistook for an item. Wasn't it? Yeah, we're just moving through and catching things at the moment. Yeah. Galarian Ponyta. Need any Sinus Tea. And an Indeedee. You are psychic type, so snarl should work here. Nasty plot. Oh, I meant to do this. 